How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jesse. Then today we're going to be working on my 1936 Ford Hot Rod again. Um, I was driving it this weekend and I noticed that the coolant temperature was bouncing around. Now generally when you look and you see your uh, temperature gauge kind of go up to you know, it peaks, it doesn't quite get super hot, but it gets hot and then it backs down and then it gets hot again and then the temperature backs back down. That usually means there's something going on on these older cars or trucks with your uh, thermostat. So what's happening is the coolant thermostat, when the uh, engine gets hot enough, it opens up and releases coolant into the radiator, which then cools off and is returned to the engine. You know, that's just a constant process of the uh, engine, the thermostat releasing coolant and then it's cooled off and returned back to the engine and um, that, that controls that process, the thermostat does. I'm going to go ahead and start working on this and let's see what that's all about. Okay, to do this job, a uh, basic hand tools will be used. That should be all I need. I mean, of course, I've got a full toolbox over there. If there's working on cars, you never know which tools you're going to need. Things always kind of go sideways or there's always things you don't expect that you've got now got to take apart or you need different tools. I mean, so it's good to have a toolbox full of them, but for this job, it should be just basic ratchet sockets. And I went to my local auto parts store, picked up a new thermostat. This one opens up at 180 degrees. There are some that open up at 160, 195. Usually the cooler the better, but it just depends because sometimes you want to keep a little heat in the engine because the, uh, the heater controls on the older trucks, that's what, that, uh, that's what helps keep that temperature up, you know, the heat that blows in your face. So you want it to be a little warm, but you don't want it to be too warmed where the engine starts overheating. And then I've got a reusable water outlet gasket. That's the gasket that goes on the housing that holds your thermostat. I'll show you what that looks like. But I have a reusable one on there, but I replaced uh, the um, thermostat like 12 years ago, maybe longer. So it's just good. If you're going to do this job, you might as well. You want it to seal. You don't want any leaks. So that gasket's probably fine, but I'm just going to replace it. I don't want to take any chances. And I noticed my valve cover uh, spreader bar on one of my valve covers already had broken. So I, while I was getting the thermostat, I saw these on the shelf. It's like, I better pick them up and just replace it. It's very easy to do and not a big deal at all. Well, let's go ahead and check out the truck. All right, there's the Chevy Smallbox 350 that's in my hot rod. And that is our thermostat housing, that little diaphragm piece. Let's go look at it. Let's go get it so I can explain this a little better. So, this piece sits in here about like so, like right in this, focus, right underneath here. So you do undo these two bolts, I'm probably going to have to undo the alternator housing, because it's the bracket for that, if I can get you in on here. Yeah, the alternator housing bracket goes all the way to the thermostat housing bolt which is whatever okay awesome design <laughs> but still simple so there's the main hose coming from the radiator the lower hose is down there so that's how cooling system works it pumps through the uh, water pump down there goes through the radiator goes through the motor in and out the thermostat and then back to the return line back through the radiator down there Okay, we'll go ahead and start wrenching on this and see if we can get to the old thermostat, see what it looks like. All right, let me move some things out of your way. Take this breather filter off. All right, let's turn our air cleaner. Okay. All right, and we gotta take this main radiator hose off. We already have fluid coming out. Let's see if I can, there we go. Well, 
can always not make a mess. All right, after the big mess we just made, spilling coolant all over the place with my radiator hose, it's good to have a catch a flat catch pan. I've got like a two foot by four foot catch pan. You can get it at any auto parts store or big, you know, Walmart or whatever. The way you don't make your garage floor an absolute mess because when pulling a hose, you're gonna have coolant all over the place. Alright, got the alternator bracket loosened up, that should come off, there we are, now we got one more nut right there underneath. Okay, let's see what it looks like underneath this housing. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, see? Look at that. If I can get you a shot. The reason I'm glad I bought the other gasket, this one, like right there, is just years of use and abuse and heat it kind of warped and this rubber isn't what it should be so that's why you always if when it comes to gaskets I don't care how reusable it is just get a new one you're gonna not regret it now I have to go back to the hardware store so this is our thermostat housing that hooks up to our top radiator hose and it's what that looks like so I set that aside and that's our thermostat I believe that's the culprit that's going bad. Alright, got a new thermostat. We'll take that out. That's the new one. Now the seat it sits on is kind of nasty, so we'll go ahead and gently, this is aluminum, this intake manifold, so you got to be very careful, very gently scrape this crud off of here, you don't want to score it, we'll put a gouge in it, then it won't seat properly, it's very easy to nick up aluminum. Should be okay. Turn this off. In there, it seats good. All right, got our new universal gasket, reusable gasket. Okay, got our gasket place to hold that down. Let's get our housing. Check the back of our housing, it's kind of gross. We can take some sandpaper, to get that done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up real quick. All right, after you got that mating surface all cleaned up, you wanna take a rag and you don't want any of particulates going through your engine or radiator. Try and clean it up best you can. Okay. It goes this way, pointed, if you remember, pointed towards our radiator hose that's down here. This guy. Alright, 
Make sure our gas gets lined up. Get it under our alternator bracket. All right. All right, this part's a little tedious, so I've been practicing YouTube magic off camera. So we'll go ahead and I'll just put this together for you real quick. Hey, look at that. I'm getting the hang of this YouTube magic thing. That's awesome. Look at even clean the motor. Got the belt tight. Got the hose put back on. And I'm starting to like this magic speed up stuff. There we go. We got it all done. Got that tightened back down. New thermostat, gasket in place. Got the hose back on. I'm going to need to fill fill it up with some more antifreeze because there's a lot on the ground. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Oh, there's the old thermostat. Right, get him out of there. He's trying to hitch a ride. And there's our broken valve cover hold down. On this old model, there's four. Pretty much one on each middle side middle. One there, one there, one there. One there, same with the other side. This stud setup that I have on here for the valve covers have these removable keys. Instead of uh, bolts that you have to use a socket, you just have these turn keys. It's quite handy if you need to constantly check your valves and take your valve cover off real quick. So I'll go ahead and do that. Use a little magic. And I'll switch these out. Hey, nice. Look at that. Let's take our keys off. These are removable. You do not want to go down the road with them. They'll fly off and into somebody else's car. We got those. Look at that. Nice new chrome ones. Better than the black ones we had. Kind of really offsets. Matches all the other chrome. And looks pretty good. And they're not broken, so that's definitely a plus. And there's the old ones that came off. All right, let's get to the other side. All right, got the keys on there. We'll go ahead and get this one done. Oh, look at that. Got those done. Sweet. All right, that should be it on this motor. Got everything tightened down, put back in place. Got my valve covers all snug back down. All right, got those jobs all done. Now I have to add some more antifreeze and uh, in the morning, I'll go ahead and do a test drive on it. Probably have you come with me and check that out. It's too late now to fire this thing up. I'll wake up the whole neighborhood and they won't appreciate it. But uh, we need to get it up to temperature, see if it spikes or if the thermostat's opening a lot better than the last one did, or if it's the water pump. I'm pretty sure it's not the water pump, but if it is, then we'll get into that in another video. I get questions. People ask like, hey, I seen a couple of your videos. Some of them are informative. Some of them are just entertaining. What is your channel? I mean, are you information or entertainment? I'd like to say I'm both. Information, entertainment, infotainment. How about that? All right, thanks for watching with me on another one. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And as always, keep tinkering every freaking day.